All right, guys, I have been waiting six months to do this guitar review. Now, the reason for that is that I got this guitar about six months ago, right when this model first came out. They were instantly sold out. There were, there were so many people waiting for this guitar that they sold out in just a few days. And I don't like to do a video review of a guitar where people can't actually go and get the guitar. So I've been waiting for a, you know, a sizable number of these guitars to come back in stock. Now they are back in stock and I can finally do this review. From the ever popular Firefly guitars, this is the Thinline Telecaster style guitar. Priced at under $140, that's including shipping, it's like $135, $136, right in that price range. No joke, with free shipping, you can get them from Amazon.com. As always, I'll put links in the video description below. Now, like I said, these Firefly guitars are incredibly popular. The first guitar from Firefly that I reviewed was their 335 style semi-hollow. This one here, I've had this guitar for quite a while now. It's held up really, really well. And this is one of the first really popular review videos that I did. And of course, you know, there's a whole, you know, there are there are Facebook groups and, and everything that are dedicated to, to these guitars. Uh, this one right here, you know, these ones are about 140, right in that price range. These guitars are all so popular that they have a hard time keeping them in stock. There have been reports of them literally flying off the shelves. Now, as for the Firefly Thinline Tele, very straightforward guitar. We've got 22 frets, maple neck, nice white plastic binding on the neck. This one is the matte black finish. They are available in a variety of finishes. I'll put some pictures up here so you can check out some of the other colors they come in. As far as the electronics and the controls, we've got a single coil in the bridge and a lipstick style single coil in the neck position. We've got a nice three-way toggle switch. Telecaster toggle switches are always so satisfying. Very nice chunky sounding click to them. We've got a single volume and a single tone. Now this particular model, like I said, it's the thin line style. So it's a semi hollow body. You've got a nice F hole here and it's a bolt on neck. You can see on the back there and a string through design with the bridge. The frets are nice. These are pretty sizable frets. I'd put them at a, kind of a jumbo or maybe a, a large medium jumbo. And the, the neck profile, it's fairly chunky for a Telecaster style guitar. Um, I think it, you know, it's, it has a sort of a C or D shape to it. So it's got a pretty pronounced shoulder on the back of the neck. And it's not like a, a really thick neck. It's not like something you would expect to find on a Les Paul or anything like that. But it definitely uh, has a nice roundness and, and thickness to it. Now, this review video is actually the second version of this video that I've made. I did make a version of it way back when I first got the guitar, but after looking at the footage, it's a little bit dated because I was actually living in a different place at the time. And also the lighting just wasn't that good. So I wanted to make a fresh version of the video. Now I'll get to some playing samples in just a second here. But before I do that, one more thing I want to mention is that this version of the guitar that I have here is actually the first sort of initial run of the guitar. So they've actually even made a few upgrades since then, but the price is the same. So they've upgraded the nut. This has just a white plastic nut here. And now the current version of the guitar has a bone nut. And also I think they've improved the packaging when they ship it and even the setup a little bit. This one did take a little bit of setup. I had to lower the action on the saddles a little bit here and make a minor truss rod adjustment, but it was still playable out of the box. But my whole point is that if you like the guitar I'm demoing in the video, the guitar you buy now is even better. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get to these playing samples. Let's plug this in and we'll listen to how it sounds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right, guys. So that is the sub $140 Thinline Tele style guitar from Firefly. Now, again, depending on when you're watching this video, if you follow the links in the video description below, which I'll put down there, it might be out of stock. Okay, if it's not, you can go ahead and order one and great. If it is out of stock, you're gonna have to wait, you know, a few weeks, maybe a month, and then they'll have another shipment of them in. But don't worry, even if it says this product is unavailable or something like that, it will be back in stock eventually. It's pretty amazing that it seems like the biggest challenge this company has is keeping the guitars in stock because so many people buy them and order them. There's even a lot of people who order multiples of the guitars. They'll have one, they keep it original, then they'll have a second one that they use as a modding platform. Now, between these two guitars, if I had to choose, I would probably still go for the 335 style just because it has the humbucker pickups in it and I prefer the tone of humbucking pickups. I feel like they're a little bit more uh, diverse in terms of the styles you can get out of them and that kind of thing. But this is still a really, really great guitar, and this one is even cheaper, you know, by five or ten dollars than the 335. All right, guys, now I know a lot of you who are watching this video already own either one of these guitars or the 335, or maybe you're looking at one of the brand new models that Firefly is going to be bringing out soon. If you own any of those, I would love to hear what you think of the guitars, and I'm sure the other people watching would like to know what you think of them too. So go ahead and leave your comments down below in the comment section. Like I said, guys, I'll put links for all of this stuff in the video description. And again, if you go there and if it's sold out, you just have to wait a little while and that same link will work eventually when they come back in stock. It is amazing and awesome that you have so many choices these days for good guitars under $150. And there's two options right there that are both great choices. All right, guys, that's it for today. I know a lot of people have been waiting a long time for me to do this review. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.